Um, sophomore year, uh, I was a competitive runner since elementary school. Um, it was really important to my parents because they were both runners. My mom coached for them and my dad, you know, my mom was a stay-at-home mom. It was just very typical. Um, and then when I was 14, September of 2017, my parents sat us down at that table right there, me and my sister. What is happening? Okay, they sat us down at that kitchen table and told us that my dad had been diagnosed with cancer. I lived in a perfect world. I was so spoiled. I got literally anything I ever wanted. My family, my parents were happily married. Like I had the ideal life. And in a blink of an eye, my dad had was diagnosed with cancer. Three days later, my grandpa died. Um, two months later, my aunt was in the hospital for blood clots and then my grandma was in the hospital for having a stroke. Um, February hits, I turned 16. The doctors had told us that my dad was gonna be okay. They told us that he was gonna make it. They told us everything was gonna be perfectly fine because he was young, I mean, and healthy. And so they did surgery. And when they went to like remove the tumor, they realized it was literally everywhere. It, it wasn't what just the one tumor they thought it was. And so I was still at a private Christian school. So when he was diagnosed stage four, I was told every single day, pray about it. Just pray about it. Pray. If you pray enough, God will save him. And that's why the year after my father passed away, I took such a huge step back from my faith because I blamed God because people told me God was the only one who could save him. And I believed that and God didn't save him. So I, you know, God is the one that made him die. And I held my father's hand as he took his last breath. And about a month after that, school started again. And I was sexually assaulted for the first time. And I spent one more year at that school. I quit running. I cut my hair. I had AirPods in all the time because I just didn't want people to talk to me. I was barely passing my classes because I just didn't care. Um, and I was going to kill myself. Um, in my head, I was like, okay. Like, I, had, I had to mentally prepare for this because even though I wanted to be dead, it was still a lot for me to process to think this will just no longer be. So I was going to kill myself and then somebody, somehow I got a tour at New Mexico Military Institute to go see it. And that school sucked ass, but it literally saved my life because instead of killing myself, I prepared to go there the next year. And I said, why would I just completely end this if I could just completely start over? And 